sleeping. Austin police began investi investigating that fatal hit and run. Our Kate Wada is live at the scene now with the very latest details. It's new overnight, Kate. Good morning. Well, we have now talked to police and gotten a better picture of exactly what happened out here. You can see behind me police still on the scene blocking the southbound frontage road between Slaughter Creek and Onion Creek this morning because they tell us around 2.30 this morning that a person driving down this road ended up seeing a person lying in the grassy area. They went over to check to see how they were doing and thought they were dead. So they called 911. Police came out here and sure enough, police Police did discover not only was a person dead, but they had injuries that were consistent with being hit by a car. We're also told by police that they found a side mirror and some sort of a, a lens from a vehicle uh, next to the person. Now, they weren't sure, obviously, if these things were related to the accident, since this is a frontage road and there's lots of different debris on the side. But they said it appeared that this could have come off a car. Now, they did not give us a description of what type of vehicle this could be from, but they are asking the public this morning if you see a vehicle that's missing a side mirror or if you see a vehicle with a cracked front lens, uh, light lens, give them a call and let them know because this is something they're going to be wanting to know since the person who hit this man who was, they believe, just walking down the frontage road this morning, uh, they described him in his 50s and they weren't sure whether or not he was homeless or not simply because they said he did not have any identification on him. So they are asking the public for help this morning. If you do see a car missing a side uh, mirror, they did not say whether or not it was the driver's side or passenger side, though. Of course, we'll keep you posted if there are any new details and if the frontage road reopens, although this morning not seeing any backups as a result of it. We're live in South Austin, Kate White, KXN, Austin News.